When a child is born with a genetic disease like muscular dystrophy, there isn't much we can do for them. About 35 years ago, we learned how to clone genes. And when we did that, several laboratories, ours included, began thinking about substituting the good genes for the bad genes. To do that, we needed to develop a gene delivery system, a way of getting the genes into the human body. Our laboratory focused on adeno-associated virus, or AV. We chose this virus because it doesn't cause disease and because it lasts a very long time. The trick was to figure out how to remove parts of the viral genome and substitute it with the gene that we wanted to deliver. Once we had done that, our colleagues here at the Powell Gene Therapy Center began testing the virus for a variety of genetic diseases along with other academics around the country. The virus can usually be delivered to patients by a simple intravenous or intramuscular injection. And once it delivers its payload into cells, the DNA is uncoded and exists as an extra chromosome inside the cell and persists there for many years and possibly for the lifetime of the, of the patient. So far, the results look very encouraging. We hope in the near future that we will finally have a way of treating genetic diseases that we have never had before. I'm Nick Mazichka. I'm a researcher in the Powell Gene Therapy Center in the College of Medicine at the University of Florida.